Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we are going to talk about Mendix Rapid Developer Certification Exam. So Mendix is a low code platform. So it offers four different types of certifications. And the first certification is the Rapid Developer Certification. Now let's talk about the exam. So this exam consists of 50 multiple choice questions covering various topics. And you can take a look at the topics you'll be tested on. And as a reference, you will need around 60 minutes to complete the exam in one go. But this is not a timed exam. So after registering for this exam, you will be mailed a test link and you can pause the exam in between. Uh, it is an open book exam and you can complete the exam at your own pace. But if you want to do it in one go, it will take around 60 minutes. But to pass the exam, you need to get 75%. And the most important thing is that you need to get at least 40% per module. So if you think there are five questions in each module, you need to get at least two right in all the modules. If you manage to get 75% overall, but you haven't got 40% in one of the modules, you will still fail the exam. And this exam is free of charge. You just have to register using the get certified button here. And this exam can be taken online. And the best way to prepare for this exam is one of the four methods out of which I would recommend this path by completing the rapid developer learning path and I think these three are paid courses and this is a self-paced course which is free and is the best preparation method to ace the rapid developer exam. So let me show you how you can access the rapid developer learning path. Click on view learning path and here click on rapid which is pre-selected and this is the learning path they are talking about become a rapid developer. So this will take approximately 16 hours. So this is the self-paced learning path. So if you complete this, I'm sure you will ace your exam pretty well. And there are 10 modules starting from introduction. This is collaborate with your team, start building your app, add data, associate data, add logic, automate processes, ensure your data is valid and consistent. And this is related to security and finally conclusion. And if you have additional FAQs, click on this document. It will download the word file and you can take a look at all the required questions related to this certification exam. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.